Hello my friends, it's Sherry. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my craft room. I am uh, starting on my next uh, bunch of journals here and I've been trying to use those book covers that I showed you at the beginning of the year that I have stashed in my closet. So I just went through them and I picked out, I decided to uh, fool around with <laughs> these uh, music, sheet music covers and uh, sort of fool around with this one right here. Uh, what I did, and I'm going to do one with you, but I cut the fold and then I was like, let's see how I can make this stronger. So then I uh, decided to put, uh, reattach the back to the front, but I did it in a different way. And that is I um, decided to leave pockets here and I ran uh, some ribbon through and it's glued on all the way through onto the front cover and then uh, so you can see there's plenty here to make a little tie or a little bow uh, as a closure and then we have pockets and uh, I have sewn zigzag stitched on the top and the bottom and I used a black thread I think that of course it looks really good with the black print here so I have made journals before out of some music sheet, sheet music covers like these and I did them uh, the other way. I did them like, say this is one here, I folded it like this and maybe cut off the bottom to like eight and a quarter inches to do like traveler's notebook size. So, uh, but I thought when I did it this time, I thought, well, I really want to see more of this title here on the front. So I turned it this way and I think it's really cute. It's a nice size, it's about six inches wide by about nine inches tall and so we will continue with uh, making these but they're going to be vintagey uh, i want to use some coffee dyed paper and other vintage papers in here so kind of an like eclectic mix of vintage papers and uh, they'll be single single signature uh, i don't know if i'll put anything on the spine i might put something on the spine we'll see uh, and so today I want to make, just get one to this step again with you and show you what I did here. There's a little price tag here which I will cover up. It's on the inside of the uh, front cover so I could put a pocket there. I might think about that with my second one. But I really liked the print on the inside of this one uh, with, you know, it's this says violin and this says mu uh, music, well violin music, but this is violin and piano and this is two violins. And you know, just has different uh, different um, names of the music or titles, whatever. So, and it ties. You know, you can see it tie here. I think it's gonna, these are going to be really fun and cute and diff something different that I've done in a while. So, I've been making some colorful journals. So I thought, mm, I haven't made a little like I haven't used any of my coffee dyed paper really lately, or made a really vintagey journal in a few months. So. Let me let me do that. <laughs> so that's that's one, and I'll decorate. I I can picture some decorations on here, something maybe a little something here. Here's the back, and you know, like I said, maybe some fabric on the spine, inside and out. So uh, we'll deal with that in another video. This particular cover, I really love the colors, and I love this cover, but I don't have the back. I don't know what happened to the back. But um, I think the music from these, I did a lot of coffee dyeing of music and sold coffee dyed bundles of music in my shop. So I think that's where most of these or all of these pages went. And that's why I'm left with the covers. But uh, this one uh, I can picture, of course, folded in half. It's, it looks pretty old. I don't know how old it is. I don't like I, there's no date on here. It was 75 cents whenever from whenever and uh, it's a little grungy but I love the colors and I love the vintageness of it so uh, this this is a beginning scale book so I don't know what year it's from but I think it's really pretty but I need to figure out uh, what I want to put here so I need to look through my stash and then we'll get we'll work on that one a lot of you that have taken piano lessons uh, maybe might recognize this um, particular little piano book. 
Uh, I had the, I had one like this. I don't think it was this one though. I think this one is, it had a different font on the front. And I think this is an older one. Again, I don't have the year, I don't think. Uh, it's pretty grungy on the back. I might, I probably would use, uh, I might use this but cover it up just for, use it for strength like a base and then cover it up with something because it's pretty grungy even though I kind of like it but I kind of don't. <laughs> Does that make sense? The front cover is fine. I don't know why the back is so grungy. But uh, yeah, so maybe I'll do the same with this one and look for something and maybe even not use the back part. So I gotta do that. This one I think is ready here so we could work on this one next. I think we will see it looks good let's see if I can tell what year is from here's a date right here and it's kind of uh, 19 it looks like it might say 1950 but I'm not sure a little price tag there I probably would cover that up I don't want to peel any, any of the paper off one dollar and 25 cents that helps tell anybody what year it's from so we'll work on this one next I'll just show you the other ones that I have though and all of these I have the front and back cover this one uh, this was an organ music here Sp spinet organ or spinet <laughs> if, you're, if you want to do it with a French version <laughs> but uh, yeah organ music I never played the organ my mom played the organ and the piano I played the piano when I was a teen teenager, and uh, when I when it's still when it's still fresher in my mind, I could sit down and <laughs> play something. Now I would really need a refresher to play anything, but because I haven't played a piano in years, this one's pretty grungy, but I still like it. I might even try to wipe it off a little bit, but very gently, so that I don't take any of the paper off. I think the back is fine, even though it's discolored. The front, you know, has a little bit of grunge here. Like I said, maybe I'll wipe it off and see. If I can get any of that off, but I think I, lo I love the colors on this one, so I definitely want to use, and this is a pretty old one, I think. Let me see. Uh, no date on here, so, but you can tell that it's pretty old. This one, too. Pretty old. Again, no date. Love it, though. The color and the grunginess. This one, too, is awesome with this a uh, little band on the front here. Bellwin Elementary Band Method. Uh, one Parts $1. <laughs> Conductor $3. Don't know what that's about. Uh, very interesting. Is there a year in here? There's a couple pages I left in here because they weren't music. You know what I mean? I took the music out, but these are just instructions. Uh, there, there's a date of 1945 right here. So this one is 1945. Cool. Look at that. 1940s. That is awesome. That's an awesome one. We're going to do this one. Uh, this one is, I just want to see something. Let's just experiment with this a little bit. How would this look if we fold it this way? You get a couple of the band members on the front still, but I would, I wouldn't, it's so um, tall. How tall is this actually? This is about oh, it's only oh, it's only twelve inches. I was like I think it was taller than that. It's only twelve inches tall, so not too bad. I could have. It's not like any kind of typical journal size, but I could do it like that, or I could do it like this. You know, so anyway, I'll decide on that. That's going to be a hard one to figure out for me anyway. And then, oh, this one too. This is, oh, this is the music. This is not a cover. This is the music. Okay. It's tissue time. Just one second. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm having my allergies. This is my allergy season. Uh, so sniffing and, and runny nose. Yep, that's me right now. <laughs> Trying not to take allergy pills if I don't need them, but I did take a few the other day and uh, one one night so far. So that's pretty good because 
some years I just have to take them every day. Uh, okay, so let's work on this. So I I am going to end up putting the back cover back on here like I did for this one. You know, I just put it like right back on there. But uh, I want to cut it off because this edge is pretty rough. So I don't want to, I, I don't think I, I, I want to make it smoother and just uh, take that rough edge off. So I just, like I did on the other one, this is how I did it. And I love this kind of neutral colored uh, cover too. I've made one out of this cover, this type of, it might have not been the same cover, but the same kind of neutral cover before when I did these. In fact, I may, might have made a blue one too. There was an orange one, this color, and I think the other cover was blue. If I, rem I don't really remember the third one though, but I think it was blue. Um, so there it is. So now it's going to go back on like this, but I'm going to also, like I did on the other one, cut a little half circle here, kind of like in the middle, just eyeballing the middle. So I think this makes the cover nice and sturdy. I'm doing about a half circle on these, so a nice big thumb notch. And then uh, just turning it back around, gluing it right back on there. Except I'm going to put the cover, the closure in first, like I did on the first one, before we glue the covers together. So uh, this one I pulled out. See, this one has the black grosgrain ribbon with the white polka dots. And I thought that just looked so pretty with this cover, so that's why I used that one. This one with the neutral. Uh, I want to use some of this. This is a vintage like sheet and uh, it's white, a white sheet or off-white sheet. So I'm going to, let me cut a little angle here and I'm going to use this for the tie on closure on this one. This will be really pretty on this color and you know nice and vintagey. So a nice long closure on both sides. So about 12, 14 inches, probably about 14 on each side to have a nice long closure. And I'll cut the other side. Okay, and I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing. You can measure, you're welcome to measure. Now, there we go. So now I'm gonna use some Fabri-Tec under here. So I'm just gonna pull this down and leave it here, like try to pull it just down to where, just below where it's gonna go. Get my Fabri-Tec that I'm trying to use up here. This one I have had upside down for a couple months. <laughs> so really would like to use it up. I'm gonna put some like right in the middle of where I think it's gonna go and go from there as I spread it out. It is coming out still of here, so there's still some in there. I use this one too on the other journal. I had plenty of glue in there. It's like it almost seems like it's empty and then more glue comes out. It's <laughs> like I guess there's still glue in there, so I want to use it up. You don't want to throw away your uh, expensive glue, right? So let's just spread this around. So this is going to be covered up. So I do want it to be in here nice and sturdy, this closure, because it's going to be pulled on, you know. So that's kind of like why I like running it under, either running it under or sewing it if I do these type of tight closures, sewing it on the edges. I just don't want, I didn't really want sewing on these, on the edge of this because I want a nice smooth entry to the pocket. I didn't want like a bump, a little bump or whatever, anything like that. Any little roughness or bump from the sewing. I think this is good. Let's go ahead and put this down. And then if we need any more on the edges, we'll take care of that in a second. Let's just put this down and see how it goes. All right. So I'm going to move it back up here. Oops, what's that? A little piece of paper. A tiny piece of paper. Move it back up. Put it down and spread it out so I'm kind of like 
I want to press it into the glue, but I also want to spread out the glue. Okay, so. I, I am going to need some on the edges, though. Okay, let's see. So, see here, the edge is loose here. All oh, well down here, the edge is tight, but right here, the edge is loose. So, let me get my glue back here. Put some more glue on the edge. Here, let's see, so tight here. Well, yeah, well, it's pretty tight. Let's just put some under. If my glue so shows right here beyond the um, pocket, it's kind of okay, except that I don't want a lot of glue coming out where it doesn't belong because this is going to be a pocket, and I don't want to glue my pockets together <laughs> by accident. So I'm going to be careful with the glue. Not getting it everywhere. Okay, so that feels like it's nice and glued down there now. And there's not really any out here, so that's good. Let's try this side. A little bit right here. Let's see if I can get any more out of here. Oh yeah, there's more in there. I just put it down on its side, so I didn't know if it ran back too much, but I still can get it out there, and let's see, this is pretty tight right down here, and no glue is oozing out, so that's good. Oh, this is really tight all the way down. Okay, that is good. Now, well, I need to leave it out, but I need to get my cover here, so let me put that upside down for a second, and then get this going. So, it'll just be right back on here like that. Let me see, I think, yep, everything looks good. So let's go ahead and put some glue on here, just on the top and the bottom edges, since these will be pockets. These will have pockets. This will have pockets. So on the top. Wow, I can't believe all this glue is still coming out of here. It's pretty amazing that when you think it's empty. If I just threw it out, I'd be wasting so much glue. So I'll leave it upside down as long as I can get any more glue out of it, you know what I mean? It's really got to, like, show me that it's done <laughs> before I throw a bottle out. My, I've even used, almost used up my next bottle waiting for, to wait for this one to be used up. Then The next one that I started using is about one quarter full you know it's almost so it's almost empty too and I've ordered another one because that one's almost empty <laughs> but I'm gonna be in the same boat uh, with that one waiting for the bottom uh, residue to <laughs> come out and you use it up probably so I always am right so I don't really want to have two upside down bottles, so I'm going to try to use this one up before the, the next one runs out. Okay, so let's glue this down. I might have to take allergy pills today. My nose is really running. I stayed inside. Like, I usually go outside and brave the pollen <laughs> and do my gardening and work in my yard, but I haven't this year because... I know what happens. It's just, it makes me feel horrible. And my eyes get all itchy and red. And my, even the top of my mouth gets itchy. You know, the roof of my mouth gets itchy. And eyes red and itchy. And it, they itch so bad that it just makes you feel horrible. So, and, and so before I go out, I have to take an allergy pill. And I really don't like taking them because they make me feel... Don't, I feel like I'm not as alert when I take allergy pill, even if it's a daytime one. So, I don't know. That's how I deal with it. Okay, so our pockets are good. We didn't glue anything down. Let's go ahead and fold it. Let's see, here's the front cover. This way. Alright. Go ahead and fold it. And I might put something on the in fact, I might use the same fabric on the uh, edge here, you know, on the spine, inside and out. I probably will. So we might go ahead and do that. But I want to sew first. I want to show you first how this is going to look. I don't want to pull on it too much, but it's pretty 
solid in there already. But this will be cute uh, on here. So all vintagey looking. Kind of like muslin kind of fabric. A little smoother than muslin though. But anyway, see how that looks. And so I'm going to sew on the edge with some probably black thread. That's what I have on my machine now. And that's what I used on the other one. So I think I'm going to go do that real quick and you can see how it looks. And then we'll put some fabric here and here. And then, uh, I don't know, I don't think I'm going to do all of these covers at once. I'm going to do maybe these two. And then, uh, you know, finish these and then move on to the next ones. So... Uh, if you saw one that you want me to do, like I'll do, I'm going to work on these two. If you saw another one in the ones that I showed you that, you, you say, oh, I would really want to uh, you to do that one. I'd really like to purchase that one if, when you make it into a journal. Let me know, and I'll move that one to the top of the, the pile along with these. So uh, let me go sew, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Here we go. This is how it turned out. Uh, it had a design up here, and I was a little bit worried about covering up the design, but I think you can still see the design through the thread on this one, too. This one I side sewed um, more on the bottom of the design. And then on here, the design was closer to the edge, so I just sewed on the edge, you know, kind of on the design. But I really like it, how it turned out. I really like the sewing on there. I think it really, um, even though it's very subtle, it's just sewing, zigzag stitching, it, it adds a lot. Here's the inside. So let's add a little fabric to the spine here and to the inside and out of the spine. This same uh, muslin type fabric here. Let's see, here's an uneven piece. Let's cut this off a little bit here. This is some other part of the sheet. It's got two layers, I don't... I don't need two layers. I just need one layer here. So this will go here. Did I cut that straight? Of course I didn't. <laughs> of course I didn't. Why would I do that? <laughs> okay, there. That's better. <laughs> now for this, I'm just going to use some art glitter glue. This is thin fabric. I don't want it to show through. I don't want the glue to really show. I just want this to be glued down, but so art glitter glue, and I'm going to use my little glue spreader here. And in, um, in case you didn't know, most of you I know know, but sometimes people still ask. Um, I got this at Dollar Tree in the makeup section. You get these. They're only, you know, $1.25, so a little bit of glue on there. But, yeah, they, they do work, so you don't have to, you know, you can use your fingers, but if you'd rather not use your fingers, you can, <laughs> you can use one of these and... It works very well. Okay. Now some glue here. I'll cut this uh, fabric after I put it on here. I think that might work well. So I'm going to put a little bit on here. And then spread it. And then we'll add to it if we need to. Oh, I almost used my finger. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of used to using my finger. I had one of these and then I lost it and then I had to use my fingers again and then I just like a few weeks ago finally got got it remembered to get another one. Okay, so that's pretty good I think. Pretty solid uh, bunch of glue there. Okay, let's see where's my little strip. Here's my strip. These are my tie closures. So right on the fold here, which is right here. Okay. Easy as that. So see, you can't see the glue, but it is glued down. Okay, now the edges. This is solid here. And this edge, I don't want too much on here, but. The 
this is under the fabric, so I'm using my finger, this glue that I'm spreading out now. Okay, now this back cover. I think we need just a little bit here. Not, I mean, it's like you don't even really have to have it like solidly glued down, but if you want it solidly glued down, just add a little bit under the edge wherever you need it. I got a little thread coming off here. Let me see if I can get that before it's glued down. <laughs> okay, now we're going to cut off uh, the extra. So I kind of like if there's a little extra up here, sometimes I'll leave it just depending. Like this is, I'll probably leave this. There's just a little bit here that's a, uh, longer than the rest of the extra. So I'm going to cut that off. That little piece sticking up there above the rest of it. So if this is what I, if you can see it, let me see. See, there's just a little extra sticking up there, but I'm going to leave that. I think that looks kind of cool. I like that. And then down here, we'll also cut this extra off. And then when we put some on the inside. So this one, let's see, let's get it like this. Cut it, I'll cut it pretty even on the bottom, but it's sticking over a little bit. I won't. It won't matter. Okay, there we go. That looks good. Okay, and now the inside. So I'll put another strip right here. Another strip right here. So let's put some glue again. And so this one will be, I don't know if I'll, how much color I'll put in here. It might be a lot of neutral pages. And the other one too. So we'll see. Like the ledger paper. I might put ledger paper, that light green ledger paper. But I have vintage ledger paper. I mean that my all my ledger paper is from thrift stores, but I have no way of knowing if it's vintage or not. It doesn't have dates on it. But um, some of my paper I do have definitely vintage like ledgers from from different ledgers I've picked up over the years, so in different sizes too, so that would be fun to use some of that in these. Okay, there's a little bit of extra. Get this extra glue off here so that doesn't go to waste. <laughs> okay, that's probably too much, but let's see how it goes. One thing about art glitter glue is it dries clear, so if you have extra on there, I'm trying to see where the fold is. And the other um fabric I can see right there. You guys probably can't see it, but I can see it right there. So I'm going to put it even with the other fabric. Yeah, I did put way too much over here, but that'll be all right. It'll be like I sealed it. <laughs> I sealed it. With the glue. You know it, like a sealer. Okay, I need a tissue. Just a second. Now, let's see. So this side is going to be all nice and solid because I put too much glue here, but this side is going to need some. All right, so let's do that. And we'll cut off the extra. So that's this is basically how I'm going to do the covers, like to start all the covers. And then what we do from there, like if we add uh, any little decorations or anything uh, to the front or back of the cover, that will be later. Okay, that is solid. Okay, that is solid. Now, the extra on this inside piece. Let me see if I can cut this without cutting the front piece, or I don't want to cut it, because that's the top where we left a little extra, and in the bottom one we cut uh, pretty even with the cover. Let me move this out of the way so I can maneuver here. Boxing myself in with all the stuff. Okay, this is the bottom edge. Oh, I think I, do I need glue here? Yeah, I need a little bit of glue right here. 
There's glue there, but not enough. I'm going to put a little bit more glue there. Okay, there we go. All right. So I need to let this dry so I don't glue my cover together now. <laughs> but uh, that is basically what it looks like. Glue here. It just looks like it's popping up right here. And I think I need a little bit of glue right here. Oh, I put way too much under there. Ugh. <laughs> that is going to be solid. Solidly glued down. <laughs> Very solidly glued down. Okay. I'm going to smear it out a little bit. So, art glitter glue does dry clear and not shiny, so that will all dry and be fine. But uh, so there's our inside spine with a little bit of fabric, and you can see the words through that fabric, so it's pretty cool that you have can put a little bit of fabric there so it does sturdy the spine. Like, say, if this was open and closed a hundred times and you were worried about it cracking or being you know, or anything, I mean, this is vintage, so that protects it and keeps it you know together, and the same on the outside. You know, it keeps that edge from getting tattered and worn because you have that little piece of fabric. Even though it's just a little thin piece of fabric, it does protect it, I feel like. So there you go. I think these are going to be cool. And uh, stay tuned for the next steps. And I think that if I find something to decorate the cover, I'll do that next or we'll get started on the pages. So I will see you in my next video, and I hope you have a great day. Here's what we, we uh, here's the two. And don't forget to let me know if um, anybody saw one of these. I won't flip through them again because you can rewind <laughs> back up uh, and uh, see them all. But yeah, if there's one of these that you wanted to me, me to make into a journal now, let me know, and I'll add that one and go from there. So thanks for watching today, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have a great day and a great week, and I'll see you then.